Eating food provides fuel that keeps us alive. And we do it with the help of our teeth. Have you wondered how strong your teeth are? They are our chewing and grinding machines. And in our mouth, every tooth has a specific role. Incisors are used for tearing food. Canines for biting and cutting the food. Premolars and molars are used for grinding and chewing the food before we swallow it. By studying teeth, scientists can discover important information about animals and people. Teeth can tell us about the age of a person of, or an animal. You can tell how old they were. You can tell about relationships of different animals if they are closely related, like cousins, or more distantly related. You can tell about the diet of a person or an animal if that animal eats more meat or is more like a vegetable eater. The shapes of teeth reveal the types of food animals eat. Herbivores eat grasses, fruits and vegetables. Carnivores eat meat from other animals. And omnivores eat grasses, vegetables and meat as well. New Zealand has plenty of sheep running around the hills looking for fresh grass to eat. As herbivores, they must eat grass and herbs every day. Like you, they are born without any teeth. And their first tooth appears around a week after birth. But how difficult is it to see their teeth sometimes? So let's see what it looks like inside its mouth. So here, for, as a, for example, I have the skull of a sheep. That's a herbivore animal because they have this really long row here of premolars and molars. And they have, those teeth have a flat surface to grind the grasses they are eating. The top teeth here, the, the incisors, the front ones, um, are very good for grasping the grass. But as you see, there are no teeth on the upper jaw. So the top of the skull has no teeth, while the lower one, we have the incisors. The canines are very, very small, almost nothing in the shape. So it tells us that those animals are adapted to eating plants, like grasses and other things, rather than meat. Um, we see here very long jaw for the muscles to attach and help their masticating, chewing their food, but allows them to move their jaws like this to crush into the grass. As omnivores, pigs can eat everything on the table. Oops, sorry, I mean everything in the mud. Its big snout is an important tool that helps them to find food on the ground. They can eat grass like other animals, but also a wide range of vegetables and meat, just like us. So for example, their molars, the back teeth here, are quite broad and flat, adapted to grinding into grasses. And they also have these big canines in here, to sh cutting into meat. Uh, they have big incisors as well, to grasping into the prey, cutting into meat, and also holding onto the grasses they eat. So those animals are adapted for both eating meat and also vegetables at the same time. That's an omnivore. Do you recognize these teeth? Most sharks are meat eaters, so they feed on other fish. Their teeth are pretty scary. But would you like to know why their teeth are so special? In these animals, they have a conveyor belt system. So the teeth from right here underneath, they move along the rows and they go to the outside like this. So once the tooth is in here and that tooth falls out, the next one is coming up. So they, if they lose one, there's another one ready to come underneath. So during their whole lives, they're replacing their dentition. There's some studies that show that about every six months to nine months, they're replacing and getting new teeth. 
So if there's a problem and that tooth is broken or something, there's a new one coming up next. Big cats, like leopards, are powerful wild animals. Always looking for prey. They are carnivores, which means they only eat meat from other animals. And its success as a hunter is due to its beautiful fur, which works as the perfect camouflage to hide it and catch its prey. And this is really interesting because this is a carnivore animal. And you can tell that by many things, many features in the skulls and teeth. You see the back teeth here are very sharp. When they close their mouths like this, the back teeth act like scissors cutting through the meat. They have really pointy, long canines. They are very useful for biting into the prey and holding, killing the prey. Their incisors, the front teeth here, are very pointy as well to help holding, uh, holding the prey. So you can tell all those things about this, this animal. You see these muscles here, there's a space here in the lower jaw, and this, the, there's a big muscle in here uh, that moves the lower jaw. So carnivores, they have a really, really powerful bite. As omnivores, we eat meat, and also fruit, vegetables, bread, and anything we wish. But unlike sharks, we only have two sets of teeth. To help keep these important tools in perfect condition, you should brush and floss your teeth twice a day, visit your dentist often, and eat less food with sugar such as lollies and fizzy drinks. Mm -hmm.